name is Bird Brain and today we are talking about cleanup, but more specifically, how to use the pencil tool to have different kind of edges in your line. So here I have a round kind of line, here I have meter, and here I have bevel. Now the difference between them is kind of subtle, but it's kind of really important as well. <laughs> so here we have the corner that are very round, here they're very sharp, and here they have kind of a, a bevel look, like if you had a marker that has a bevel, like a chisel I think tip that's what you would get so i'll be honest bevel is really not used often in the industry or in any film that i see but maybe that's because people don't know it's a thing right maybe they don't know so i'm explaining it today as well the most popular one is the round look but to my understanding it seems that some people just don't know they can actually get the sharp look with a pencil and this look is really reminiscent of like flash animation because if you go to how flash animation was made you would often just clean up with the brush tool and either if it's Flash or Harmony, if you clean up with the brush tool and you know you use Harmony's cutter, you're gonna get sharp edges because that's how the brush tool works. But if you do that with a pencil, and usually you use a cutter, and I would set my cutter to round because that's usually how we use it, and I cut my lines, on one end it'll look sharp, but if I cut the other, you will always have a round tip and if I used the other kind of cutters like the flat or the bevel you wouldn't even get this look you would get either this <laughs> that's very weird or you would get this look that's kind of close but not quite and I'll be honest sometimes when you render from far away it does look like this one but you know that's not exactly what it is the only way to get this look with a pencil tool is to unite your lines together, which is what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna select my select tool, make my selection here. And no matter what you're using, if you're using round, bevel or whatever, it doesn't matter. It will only matter what you choose after. So I'm gonna merge them using this tool that is called the merge pencil line. Flatten is not gonna work for pencil. This is just for the brush, okay? If you have pencils, you have to choose merge pencil lines and then you click on it and it's going to merge your lines together. Now it used the bevel style because it's the last one I had selected. But if I go down here in the tool properties of the select tool, you will have start and, you know, this is to change the tip of the start or end of your line. But then you have the join part, which is where it gets interesting. So if my pencil lines are joined together and I use this menu here, I can decide if it's a round corner, if it's a meter corner, or if it's a bevel corner. So I'm gonna go back to meter and you're gonna see it's exactly the same as what we had for the brush but this is only possible if your lines are merged together. So one way to get sharp edges with your pencil would be to draw your lines like this and cut them. And then with the select tool, make a selection and join them together in a meter way. And you know, make sure it's to select them, then make sure you have your thing set to meter and then, you know, join your lines together. In my Greatest dream, I would love it if we could just cut the lines and they would merge together as they go. It's not yet possible, but in the meantime, there is also another way to do it. So linking your pencil line is still a good thing. You can just, you know, draw them and then link them together and choose the edge that can work, but I don't think that's fast enough. Usually when I clean a star that needs to be sharp like this, I just take my pencil, set the join already to what I need, so meter, and then look, as you draw, and then as you draw, if you get the hand, you will be able to draw and already have that sharp edge. So if I'm drawing like a little hair like this, maybe I'm gonna do this, like that, and get my edges uh, the right way. It does get a little bit of uh, getting used to, but I use it a lot when I clean for Mystery School, for example, because it has a lot of these sharp edges. So when I clean Vivi's hair, I've been using that technique a lot to clean up her hair and it makes it really faster. The other option that you have is also to draw. And then if you have your line building mode active, you can activate it. And if you start at the other edge, it's going to unite your lines as you go and make them sharp. Sometimes when you clean up with the meter, you will be faced with beautiful edges like this one and sometimes less beautiful edges like this one. Don't worry, this is very easy to fix. So when this happens, it's because there's too many points and Harmony doesn't know what to do. <laughs> so when you have too much of clutter in here, you can just remove the clutter and usually this will fix your line right up. And in here, if it's round and you want it to be sharp or mittered, all you have to do usually is just pull this point and if the handles are sharp enough, 
have an angle, it's going to make it sharp. Sometimes you can just press on Alt and click on the dot, and this will retract the handles, making it a sharp angle. That's how you can fix your little lines that are maybe not perfect. <laughs> so I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you again next week for another tutorial. Goodbye!